Hey Leos, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're going to be doing your November monthly general reading here. I'm going to get right into your meditation. So I saw a movie, like I, it was like a silent film, and I, I heard this newsreel being played behind it. It felt very throwback and very formulaic even. And then I saw it fast forward to The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, if any of you are familiar, a la Will Smith. Um, the Will Smith, within the context of that series, was someone who was a bit of a black sheep moving into a situation that was very different um, than who he was, which I feel like is pertinent for you guys. And then I saw you guys move from that and become an aspect of David Bowie. And I heard that my differences mark my success. It's my differences that mark my success. So I feel like whatever makes you different, the work that you do, how you do it, the unique way that you go about it is what is leading to or is going to lead to success for you. It's really about allowing yourself to highlight and showcase your more unique traits that are going to be the ticket for you. It's not about assimilating. It's not about doing things as others around you have done, how your family has done, how you think it should be done, how your teachers think it should be done. It's about doing it in a way that is true for you, that is going to call your tribe to you, like-minded people to you, bosses that, that are going to truly get you to you. If you showcase who you truly are and highlight those aspects of yourself that make you unique, then you, it's going to be a natural byproduct that you weed out those who are not of your vibration, right? And bring those towards you that are of your, are of your vibration, right? Who are an authentic match to you. And whatever context this is, romantic, work, um, relationships in general, even your relationship with yourself, there is this divide between doing things in a way that is acceptable or, you know, expected of you and going, you know what? No, I'm actually going to let my freak flag fly, <laughs> right? Think about it. David Bowie, I mean, Ziggy Sardust, that was like, are you kidding? It was like him letting his freak flag fly for all to see. And it was what what made his following or followers and following so passionate about him. He didn't shy away from his stranger aspects. He showcased them. You are being encouraged to do the same. All right. Will Smith, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air within that series, did not try to fit in. Right. He was himself. And as a result, you know. Did quite well, right? All right. Let's get your animal energy for another. <laughs> oh my God, it's too good. Horse. Let's talk about this. So horse energy equates to that of the chariot on one hand, which is fast forward moving energy that is balanced. But horse energy also equates to spirit, astral travel, and guess what? Freedom. So an aspect of the horse as well is that they tend to, if someone, for example, like if someone has a horse as their power animal or totem, they could be healers or have a propensity to carry the struggles of others around with them literally on their back, like carry the burdens of others. They're very empathic animals as well. Um, so this comes up to speak of a lot of healers and empaths and those who were of service or in the service industry. Okay. Also, the horse, as a personality type and as an energy, they value freedom above all else. If you try to confine them, cage them, restrict them, right, they will buck and nip and bite you, right, and kick you, right? So this is really lining up with what I saw in your meditation about allowing yourself to be free and be who you truly are out loud and in color all of the time and unapologetically, Mm hmm this feels really nice really nice Leos okay mm. I'm also getting a family vibe here as well partnership family trust whoa this came out in the reverse I'm living for it already this is oh this is too good okay so I'm gonna hold it in the upright for the sake of the narrative and the visual here but um five of swords so traditionally speaking five of swords is people ugh, like being willing to do whatever they have to to get ahead and above and get their own needs met this is success at the the, the, basically, it's a success at the loss of others or at... An, what is the word that I'm looking for? 
I can't think of the word that I'm looking for. But this is this is that kind of energy where it's people acting outside of their integrity. That's what this is. People acting outside of their integrity, right? The fact that this came up in the reverse, it feels like you're really moving into an arena where you are cutting out anyone around you, and this could be aspects of yourself as well, but cutting out any relationships, ties, even work relationships, whatever this, even family members, um, that are uh, not living in their truth, not above board, not in their integrity, not completely honest, or even anyone in your atmosphere, in whatever you know context this is, that feels like they love control or have certain expectations of you, right? It's like, no, 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 no. You will not project your stuff onto me. You will not have expectations of and around me. If you don't like the way that I do this, step to the left. The door's right there. <laughs> but it feels really good. It feels very empowered. It really, really does. It's like you're, I feel like you've dealt with some Five of Swords energy in the past. You're quite familiar with it enough to know Wow, I'm literally going to cut this out. And whoever remains on the other side of it remains. But no. Freedom is of my highest priority. Anything that tries to tie me down or weigh me down or drains me of my energy. Anyone who's overly negative. Anyone who I feel like crap after I get off the phone with has got to go. It's, I mean, it really does feel quite empowered. Mm. <laughs> All right. Four of Swords, Happy Home and Family, 1111, Solid Sturdy Foundation. This is your wand suit. This is your natural home suit. I love that it's coming up for you here. You know, the wands rule the realm of everything that you're passionate about and the actions that you take. Happy Home, Family, marriage, babies, celebrations, birth announcements, everything to be grateful for. I also love that the bower bird is depicted here because he is the only bird, I believe is the only bird, that builds the nest and then goes and finds a mate. <laughs> he ready? He's like, hey girl, I got this nest over here. Come and take a look at it. Nobody's going to give you this kind of offer, girl. I got the nest ready. <laughs> so it's really nice. It, it does feel like there's an aspect of you that as you release these outer influences that, that have no place in your energy about where you want to go or drag you down or weigh you down, suddenly you have more time and, and energy and, you know, space to really focus on those and what and whom you love right? Those who, who really truly make you feel like you're seen and accepted and wanted and, and, and celebrate your existence and everything that makes you uniquely you, honey. I'm also noticing too, it's funny because remember we we're talking about, you know, uh, allowing what makes you unique to, to be highlighted. This is what makes the Bowerbird unique. He's the only one that builds the nest and, and then goes and finds the mate. So I love that that's coming up here for you. It's really cool. Oh my lordy lord. <laughs> Y'all, it's another horse though. Eight of Wands. This is accelerated forward movement. This is communication. This is travel. This is happy news. This is love. This is happy partnerships. This is communicative relationships. This is freedom within the context of fully realized purpose. Because this is purposeful movement forward. It is also freeing. Love is freedom, right? Love is freedom. When you love what you do, you are free. When you're with someone you love, you are free. When you love yourself, you are truly free. You better work it out, Leo. So let's do the clarifiers here. Let's do it. Five of Swords in the reverse, which you won't. Yeah! <laughs> work, 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 work. It's so good. The star. Guys, this is great hope, illumination, and love. Ziggy Stardust. Hello. 
This is so good. We got the moon here with the horse too and the star. I'm so obsessed with this. Remember when I said that you are cutting out and leaving behind anything that is not of your vibration or that does not add to your existence. Anything that detracts, you are cutting away. And then you have the star, which is great love, hope, illumination, faith, intuition, healing. Hi and hello. I also want to point out the fact that this is a stag. You know, stag energy is very much about giving and receiving in equal measure. So I feel like that's another note here about anything that's not reciprocal in nature has got to go. Okay? And you're doing it from a place of hope and self-love. And you're not doing it from a place of like, uh, get out of my fate. No. You, you, this is an act of love that you are cutting away these influences or people or situations or aspects of yourself that are outdated. Right? It feels really nice. Very good. Aquarius energy here. Four of Wands. Okay, <laughs> Leo's <sighs> going for the Golden Star Award. The Fool! <laughs> to clarify the Four of Wands, this is, we've been talking about this, right? Fresh, brand new start, leap of faith, the reward far outweighing the risk. This is a leaping into, <laughs> right, your happiness, your home and family. I feel like someone could be moving homes or upgrading their home situation or getting some pregnancy news. Something to do with um, a change in the home environment that's very happy. You could even be decorating it or inheriting some pieces that you're like, oh my God. It feels even more like home because we got, you know, great grandma's sewing table over here, whatever this is. But these are matters of the home and cause for celebration and connection. With the fool. Fresh, brand new start. I'm also talking to the fact that this is a grasshopper. You know that song, uh, I think it's from Cinderella, When You Wish Upon a Star? No matter how you keep on dreaming, if you keep on believing, the wish that you wish will come true. And the star is also about wish fulfillment and being in the spotlight. Allowing yourself to be as you are. Also, speaking of which, remember when I said letting your freak flag fly and Ziggy Stardust and all that? There is no greater freak. <laughs> I say this with love because I am one. And all the Zodiac and the Aquarius. <clears throat> and I mean that in a super positive way. Freaks! We, we really are super individuals <laughs> we do not do things the way that anyone else does them um all of that so the fact that that energy is coming forward and for you during this time so like you can really embrace these aspects of yourself and and that are different or unique and really let them come to the forefront even even they don't even have to be like terribly different they can just be aspects of yourself that that you know make you uniquely qualified for something right or letting your strengths step into the spotlight of any given situation. Eight of Wands. Whoa. Oops. Okay. King of Cups here. So I love that this is depicted with an orca. So let me tell you something. The King of Cups has been coming through um, in a lot of these readings as a collective energy. Okay. The orca is very much about family and ancestors and tribe. We've been talking about that, right? The King of Cups is a very balanced energy. He's very, he has very balanced emotions. And because of that, he's able to harness his intu intuition in a very special and specialized way. The fact that this is meeting up with the Eight of Wands here, I do feel like there is a saison, <laughs> or more than that, um, aspect of your intuition coming into play. And you operating from a place of deep knowing as well. There doesn't feel like a whole lot of doubt or questioning yourself as it were. It's really like, I feel these things deeply. I know them to be true. I don't feel the need to ask anyone's advice. I'm instead informing instead of asking. So what is an example of this? Let's say that you have decided to move across the country, let's say, uh, for a new job, right? And you call your mom and it's the difference between Hey mom, um, I'm thinking of moving across the country for this job offer. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna ask that I you know leave my home and my friends and everything that I know, but I I, I do have a good feeling about it, and I really want to do it. What do you think? It's a difference between that and. <laughs> hey mom, I got this job offer. I'm moving across the country. Just wanted you to know. You guys are in that latter energy where you're not feeling the need to, to get anyone's advice or ask permission. It's just like this deep knowing that propels you forward. And it's really, really beautiful. But I do feel like this, this there's also this sense of family and homestead and home space and being with like-minded people and, and people that add to your vibration as opposed to detract from it, right? 
It's really beautiful here, Leos. Truly, 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 truly beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and get an oracle for you. Let me get these out of the way here. You know, also these braids, oops, these braids in the horse's hair, it's a three. It also speaks of the mind, body, spirit connection as well, which is also why horses are associated with astral and spirit travel. And this does feel very adventurous. It really, really does. I mean, you have this forward moving energy with the eight of wands. The tagline of the orca is navigate with purpose, navigate with purpose. And then you have the fool making the leap of faith. You have the Four of Wands, <laughs> ready to go out and find that mate. The Star with the Stag here, which is a beautiful, grounded, and intuitive energy. It's really beautiful. Let's do one more. It felt stanky. All right. Okay. Oracle for Leo. Oh. Oh, God. Y'all. I actually feel like these are both for you. Okay. Completion. The Ouroboros, the snake biting its tail. This is you've completed your cycle and you're ready to move into a new one. This is representing the four directions. Feeling balanced and centered and like you are staying your course and that you are what? Navigating with purpose. This is so beautiful. You're, you're about to experience so much newness and, and growth and building upon, you know, a, a lot of energy that's already accrued, a lot of um, advances that have already been made for yourself. It's really, really cool. You know, this also, this is Jermingander here, which is the world serpent, which, you know, is from Norse mythology, lives at the bottom of the sea and, and circles the entire world and comes right back around to bite its own tail, right? You know, I'm getting family again with this. <laughs> um, ancestral ties, your relationship to your own family, your relationship to yourself in the context of your family, right? You really might be a black sheep <laughs> or be considering doing something or making a move that would definitely qualify you as a black sheep or make other, you know, people think that you're a black sheep. Um, I'm really hearing go your own way, you know, shed what you need to shed and, and do what feels right for you. Also, the fact that your Mingander lives at the bottom of the sea, that's salt water, removing any energy or, or any preconceived ideas that are limiting beliefs. And that can be difficult, especially if you are of a certain spiritual vibration where you understand that, you know, pfft, abundance lies on the other side of fear, like we said, and you have people around you, especially if they're your parents or family members or close friends or cousins or whatever it is, that don't quite operate within that energy, it can be difficult, right? Also, this snake here representing healers, anyone who's involved in healing modalities, spiritual work, or has undergone a sort of uh, awakening within themselves or they've literally shed the old skin and they're moving into a new energy. This is really beautiful here and it's most auspicious to come up, right? I feel like there's also another message in this, which is saying whichever way you go, go. It's about the going. It's about taking that risk and know that there's a reward on the other side of it, right? Favor fortune, wait, fortune favors the bold, right? <laughs> fortune favors the bold. It's really beautiful. So you also have the seer here. Oh, N number nine, 45, five plus four equals nine completion again here so the seer this feels really pertinent for you guys as well um the seer is about the intuitive this is about listening to your own inner guidance this is about not turning to others for permission or perspective this is about knowing that all the answers that you could ever need are within you and as a matter of fact you do know better than anybody and everybody else about what is best for you that can be hard to believe and accept sometimes. And feelings like that are usually founded in an aspect of ourselves that needs to work on our worthiness and belief that we are divine beings, right? That we have access to all of that within and for ourselves. That it's not about seeking outside of ourselves, but going within. And that is the message of the seer. And I also feel like you can see clearly to your path coming up ahead. And that's really beautiful as well. Leos, this is your November monthly general read. I'm loving it for you. I so hope that this helped and resonated. If so, please let me know in the comments below. I absolutely love reading your comments. And with that being said, just thank you. Thank you so, so much for being here. And most of all, and as always, thank you for being you. And be well.
Until next time.